Hey what's up, welcome to VASS. In this video I will provide you my statistics, diagrams and drop rates for the compass throws and the solstice armor after I opened 700 solstice packages. This video has timestamps to make it easier for you to find your desired information. The background video shows the full opening, also there will be footage of the best rolls armor drops I have received. Thank you for watching and make sure to like, share and subscribe if you like my content. I appreciate your support and you will find only high quality destiny content created by me. Alright, let's list all possible drops you can redeem by opening a solstice package. One can of course redeem the compass rose or solstice armor. There is also a distinct chance to receive blue gear and global legendary gear, which were mostly dismantled by me and can be counted as gunsmith material, glimmer and legendary shards. Besides that, one will always receive a small amount of glimmer, additionally there is a chance to redeem destination materials like Baryon Boo, Dusk-like shards, Eteric Spirals, Helium Filaments, Glacier Starward, Microphasic Data Letters or Spin Metal Leaves. One can also get upgrade materials like Enhancement Cores or Upgrade Models or enhancement prisms. So I opened 700 Zosis packages with a total amount of 10,500 Zosis keys and counted all received rewards and materials. By the way, the link to the guide how to farm effectively Zosis keys, experience and brighters during the Zosis event is now linked at the top right of the screen. Let's start with a before and after comparison and start with the destination materials. Profit of Baryon Boo was 350. Dusk like shot gain is 190. The increase in Eteric Spiral is 275. The profit of Glacial Starward is 135. The gain of Helium Filaments is 375. And the Microphasic Data Lattice gain is 345. Pin Metal Leaf increase is 245. Ok, now let's focus on upgrade materials and legendary materials. The gain of enhancement cores is 292 and there is a only increase of 3 enhancement prisms. I also received 22 upgrade models. By dismantling common and global gear I received 637 legendary shards and a total amount of 385,780 glimmer which are partially converted to 70 raid banner. It's important to mention that these stats do, do not include dismantled compass roses or solstice armor. Ok now let's have a look at the solstice armor rewards. I had a total of 22 solstice helmet drops. One of them had armor stats of 67. Three of them had armor stats with 65, there were three 63 armor stats and nine helmets with an armor distribution between 60 and 62. Only two helmets had armor stats below 60. The overview over the six top drops I received. Now let's look at the Celestine Gloves. There were a total amount of 25 gauntlet drops, of which were 2 with 65 armor stats, 7 had 64 stats and 6 had 63 stats. 8 gauntlets had armor stats between 60 and 62 and only 2 drops had armor stats below 60. The overview over the 6 top drops I received. Now let's move on to the Celestial Chest Armor. There were 18 Celestial Drops, of which 2 had 66 armor stats, 3 ropes with 65 armor stats and also 3 with 64 armor stats, 4 chests with 63 armor stats and 6 Celestine ropes with armor stats between 60 and 62. Nice to mention is that there were no drops below 60. The overview over the 6 top drops I received. Moving to leg armor, 2 armor drops with 66 armor stats and 3 celestine boots with 65 armor stats, also 3 drops with 64 armor stats and 8 drops with 63 armor stats, 15 leg armor drops with armor stats between 60 and 62 and again no drops below 60. The overview over the 6 top drops I received. This diagram shows the probability of possible Zolster armor types if one gets rewarded. Only 12% of Solstice drops will reward the class item which is the lowest score and beneficial since the class item has no armor stats. With 28% leg armor has the highest probability to be rewarded, Solstice helmet, gauntlets and chest armor are all around 20% drop rate. Ok, let's have a look at the overall drop rate. I opened 700 chests, of which 81 dropped the compass rose shotgun and 109 sources packages dropped the celestine armor. The rest dropped blue gear, global legendary gear and upgrade materials. This means that basically almost every third sources package will either reward celestial armor or the shotgun. 
Of those 109 armor drops, there were 22 helmets, 25 gauntlets, 18 chests and 31 leg armor. Additionally, there were 13 class item drops, which have no armor stats. A focus on armor stats displays that of those 109 armor pieces there were 16 with armor stats of 65 and above. 17 armor pieces had armor stats with 64, there were 21 armor pieces with 63 armor stats and 41 armor pieces below 63. Now let's have a look at the compass rose. I redeemed 81 compass roses. This shotgun has the precision frame, 70 impact and plays in the same league as the Void Rito Hotel and the Arcus Prophet of Doom. The link to my full review and all god pros and the best shader for this shotgun is now displayed on the top right of the screen. In this video I show you the roles I wanted to receive and those are PvP roles. First has Smallbow, Icarus Rounds, Quick Draw and Vopal with a Range Master World. My second focus role has Full Shock and Zaplos and a Snapshot Side. My third focus alternative would be a combination of those two. Sadly, even after 81 rolls I have received only one which is kinda fitting to me. But some of the rolls are pretty close and now I will display them to you. Thank you for tuning in and thanks for liking, sharing or subscribing the video. See you around, have a good one.